Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a 2022 election Senate prediction. I know I haven't made a Senate election prediction in a while now. I actually just moved into college, and, um, you know, that's been taking up a lot of my time, and I've been getting adjusted to that. Still not fully adjusted um, and, you know, a bit stressed out, but I do want to make some more videos. I know I've been making a lot of Senate predictions recently. But, you know, the, 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 the times that my videos have been released have been uh, significantly spread out. So, you know, I just figured, too, that I would make a uh, just another Senate election prediction in the meantime. Uh, safe Senate races. Uh, what I'll actually say before I, before I even get into this prediction is, since my last prediction, a lot has changed in the Senate races. Um, I don't mean for Pennsylvania to be tilted Republican. I don't know why it is. Um, a lot has changed in the Senate races um, with regards to candidates and how people are performing and polls have been released. So I, I will be amending and fixing my Senate map based on those characteristics and also just basically candidates and things that are happening. Um, so mostly, mostly the safe Senate races will be what you expect them to be. I'm not going to go into depth about stuff, stuff like Connecticut or races like that. They will be safe. I'll just characterize them as safe. That puts Democrats at 45 seats. Safe Republican states will be Idaho, Utah, Alaska will pretty much go to the Republicans, either if it's Murkowski or um, um, Kelly Shabaka. Alabama will be a safe Republican state, South Carolina with Tim Scott, Kentucky, and the state of Indiana. And I also believe that the state of Iowa with Chuck Grassley will be a safe Republican state. Uh, as we head into our likely Republican state or likely Democrat states, the only one that I can assume at the moment would be the state of Colorado, um, and that is because it's trending Democrat. However, it still has some Republican tendencies, mostly Democrat, though. Uh, I'll put Colorado as a likely uh, Democrat state, likely Republican states. Missouri, in my mind, is a likely Republican state. Ohio with J.D. Vance. Florida with Marco Rubio. North Carolina with Ted Budd. Um, and those will be, actually, yeah, those will be the only likely Republican states. That brings Republican Senate races to 48 seats. Um, the and uh, I, I also like to mention I'm on a new computer now. I got a MacBook now for college, so I'm just basically um, making my videos off of that. And yeah, 48. Uh, so maybe the graphics are better or the microphone's better. I don't know. I'm in my dorm at the moment. 48 seats for the Republicans, 46 for the Democrats. As we head into our lean Democrat races, uh, I'm going to give the state of New Hampshire as a lean Democrat race in favor of the Democrats. I'm also going to give the state of Pennsylvania as a lean Democrat race in favor of the Democrats. Dr. Oz does have a very good chance at being able to turn this race around. John Fetterman, uh, you know, clearly has issues with him, you know, such that he has, you know, people have seen that he has some form of, of, of something when ha something happens, something's, excuse me, I'm sounding like him now. There's an issue with his health uh, and Oz could capitalize on that. However, he's running a very, very poor campaign. And at this rate, Fetterman will win Pennsylvania's race. Uh, now let's head into our tilt races because that's it for the lean Democrat races. Uh, tilt Republican races. This will be Ron Johnson's seat in Wisconsin. Um, um, yeah, and I believe that when you head into the other tilt races, I believe that uh, Raphael Warnock will now be able to tilt Georgia in his favor. Herschel Walker is also not running a very good campaign in Georgia. Trump sought him out. He wanted him to run, but it doesn't seem like Walker is doing performing well in campaigning and in the polls especially. Uh, Warnock is up against Walker. As we head into our final states of Nevada and Arizona in that southwest region, it's a 49-49 tie currently in the Senate, so definitely very interesting. Um, but yeah, let's make our characterizations now, I guess. Um, so when we head to the state of Nevada, I do believe that Adam Laxalt will defeat Catherine Cortez Masto. He's the former AG of the state. He is pretty popular in the state. I know that Nevada polls actually overestimate Democrats. Um which is a bit surprising considering most uh, overestimate Republicans, which is surprising because most polls overestimate Democrats, especially in the Rust Belt and in the Southeast, um, aside from Georgia. But Nevada, I do think actually would go Republican. And we head down to the final state of Arizona. And I actually, uh, between Blake Masters and Mark Kelly, I'm going to have Blake Masters edging Arizona out. I just think that um, he does have a really good shot at winning in Arizona. I know that Mark Kelly is very popular in the state. However, I think that there is going to be some switchback uh, of those McCain voters. I know that McCain, you know, they switched off of Trump, but I, I, I'm not sure if that's going to continue uh, going forward, Arizona, because of the fact that Trump hated McCain so much and they had that issue. There was 
definitely, definitely significant ish strife in Arizona. But I do believe that when all comes down to it, Arizona will tilt in favor of the Republicans. So my final, well, not my final Senate prediction, but my current Senate prediction now has Republicans at 51 Senate seats and has Democrats at 49 Senate seats. So let's just fill out this or complete this map. Um, so yeah, there we go. And let me just figure out how I can end this screen recording too, if this page is even up. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, there is a screen recorder up at the moment. So, possibly. Oh. Anyway, yeah, I think I can see this at the moment now. I can see the screen recorder sharing a window. So, I'm probably going to stop sharing in a moment. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers. I know we're in the 500s, but we're in the upper 500s. So if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully I can make more videos in the coming days, but yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.